a two year contract extension for you. I mean, you must be pleased with that given how patient you had to be for your opportunity in the first half of the season. Yeah, definitely. You know, been around enough now to know sometimes you've got to do that. You know, Pete came in and did really well. Um, so it was a matter, like you said, I to be patient and wait for my chance. Um, and luckily, since I've, I've been in, results have picked up and, uh, and I've done all right, like you said. So, but the main thing, obviously, was the results. Um, I think since I've been in, you know, we've, we've not lost too many games. There's been a few blips here and there, but thoroughly enjoyed being back playing and looking forward to the last one tomorrow. Is that maybe a sign you experience the fact that you've waited till now, you know, where fate secured for the season, that this contract's been agreed and inside now? Is that something you're just focusing on getting the getting safety secured for? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've only known the manager a short time, but he's an honest bloke, you know what I mean? And um, to be fair, it was it, like, it, that was the case, you know. I think he came in at Salford where it was starting to get a bit sticky down there. And to be fair, it has been up until the last couple of weeks, but. I said now that's all sorted and looking forward to obviously the game tomorrow and then kicking on again next season. Yeah, and you speak here about you've been around so often so you know that you had to wait for that opportunity. Does that maybe help you to take it when it does come on because you're not getting nervous, you're not getting any sort of thoughts getting to your head, you're just focused on getting on the team and when you're there taking that chance when it comes? Yeah, I think so. It's it's you know, it's old cliche in football, but making sure you train right and do everything right so that you know, it's a weird one as a goalkeeper, you know, you're realistically not going to get on un unless someone's injured. Um, so it is a tough one, but like I said, I've been about enough now and the lads are brilliant round here, you know what I mean, even when you're not playing and it's just been a case of trying to push Pete as much as I could and I'm fortunate for myself, you know, I managed to get in and thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, and message for the fans as well because they'll be pleased to see you sign that contract because you've produced some big saves in recent weeks to get some Hopefully important points. Oh yeah. Um, no, no, they've been brilliant. You know, like I said, there's been games this season where I always looked at the Crawley one. You know, it was a minging game. You know, it weren't us really, and they've stuck with us even after that. So, yeah, massive thanks to them for, for the support throughout the season, and, and hopefully we can send off on a, on a good, positive result tomorrow. Yeah, and we're watching the game coming up. It's maybe a chance for you to to sort of celebrate this season because it has been at times a tough one for you. But that is all you're paying through, you know, getting on the team and obviously the new contract now as well. Yeah, um, I said it. Sometimes it feels a longer season than it actually has been, but I don't think any season's the same. And to be fair, I've probably never had a season where I've been out of team that long. And I said footballers have funny ways of throwing different things up at you. Um, but like I said, since I've come back in, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, I love being here, I've only been here two years now, but it feels like I've been here five, you know what I mean? And that's that's the vibe that the manager creates and, and the lads who've been here a long time, you know, so fair credit to them.